Hello friends, my name is Vaseem and I welcome you all to this channel Smart Study. So friends, today I am going to discuss a data interpretation question which is of a bar graph which was asked in SPPO on 1st July 2018 in the first shift. So this is a memory based question friends. The question, the level of question is too simple uh, and you can secure 5 out of 5 marks just in 2 to 3 minutes. So try to solve the questions by yourself when you come across the question and continue watching the video. Without wasting much time, let's go ahead. So see here friends, as you can see here, a bar graph is given to us here. Above that, it is given that pens sold on different days. So pens sold on different days. So see here friends, what we have to do here is, whenever we come across a data interpretation question, we need to spend 10 to 15 seconds to read the directions which are given. So the directions given here are bar graph given below shows pens sold by a retailer on five different days. So see here friends, this bar graph shows the pen sold by a retailer on five different days. The five different days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So based on this information, we need to solve the different kinds of questions which are given based on this data interpretation. I mean based on this data. So see here friends, because this data is simple, we simply can put this information on paper. Why? Because if let's say for example, if we have to solve this question, find the difference between the total number of pens sold on Monday and Tuesday together. Then what we have to do? Monday and Tuesday together means we need to check out what are the pens sold on Monday and we need to check out what are the pens sold on Tuesday. So it takes a little more time compared to this method which I am going to tell you now. So therefore, because these are all the simple informations, I can directly put it on paper. So that is, the dates are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So Monday, total total of 25 pence were sold. So therefore, 25 pence were sold on Monday. So Tuesday, total of 75 pence were sold. And Wednesday, total of 30 pence were sold. 30 would be here. And Thursday, it is total of 45 pence were sold. So 45 must be here. And on Friday, total of 50 pence were sold. So 50 pence were sold. So see here friends, the first question here is, find the difference between the total number of pence sold on Monday and Tuesday together to the total number of pence sold on Thursday and Friday together. So see here friends, Monday and Tuesday together. So therefore, Monday plus Tuesday, difference so thursday and friday so thursday plus friday so we need to take out the difference of this this value and this value so the total number of pens sold on monday are monday and tuesday are so 25 and 75 that is 25 plus 75 is equal to 100 difference thursday and friday thursday it is 45 friday it is 50 so 45 plus 50 is equal to 95 so therefore 95 100 difference 95 is equal to 5 is the value that is nothing but option C should be the answer for this question. Let's check out the next one here. The second question here is total number of pens sold on Saturday is 40% more than the total number of pens sold on Wednesday. So see here friends, Wednesday the total number of pens sold are 30. So Wednesday total number of pens sold are 30. So this is equal to 100%. And again it is said what? So the total number of pens sold on Saturday is 40% more than the total number of pens sold on Wednesday. So therefore, it means Saturday would be so total of 100% plus this 40%. 40% is more, right? So therefore, this 40% has to be taken. If 30 is 100%, then 100 plus 40% would be 30 plus. So 30 into 40% would, 40 would be 3 into 4, that is 12. So 30 plus 12 would be 42. It means the total, total number of pens sold on Saturday would be 42. Let's check out further. Find total number of pens sold on Friday and Saturday together. So what we have to do here? We need to find out how many pens were sold on Friday and Saturday together. So Saturday it is 42. We have already found out. So and Friday it is 50. So therefore 42 plus 50, 42 plus 50. 50 would be equal to 92. That is nothing but option A should be our answer in this case. So let's check out the next one here. 
the next question here is total number of pens sold on tuesday are 25 percent more than the total number of pens sold on sunday so see your friends total number of pens sold on tuesday is 25 percent more than the pens sold on sunday so sunday whatever the pens sold so that value total number of pens sold on tuesday are 25 percent more so tuesday is equal to 25 percent plus whatever the pens sold on sunday so find the total number of pens sold on sunday so we need to find out the total number of pens sold on sunday so it means total of so tuesday is equal to 25 plus so we let us take sunday as 100 percent so therefore tuesday the pens sold are 125 percent in comparison to sunday so sunday if it is 100 percent then tuesday it is they have sold 125 percent of pens so therefore tuesday it is 75 so it's tuesday 75 pens were sold so if 75 percent is 125 then what is the value for 100 percent so 75 divided by 125 means so we will get the value for one percent if we divide this so then if this one percent will be multiplied with 100 then we will get the final answer so 25 5 times 25 4 times so 5 1 time 5 15 times so 15 into 4 would be 60 that is nothing but option d should be our answer in this case so let's check out the next one here out of total pens sold on thursday 20 percent are blue ink pen so see here friends the total pens sold on thursday so are 45 so thursday it is 45 pens were sold so out of this 45 pen, pens 20 percent are blue ink pen so 20 percent are blue ink pen so 45 10 percent would be 4.5 20 percent would be 4.5 plus 4.5 that is 9 so 20 percent is 9 the then remaining would be 45 minus 9 is equal to 36 pence the next one is out of remaining so see here friends out of remaining means what 45 minus 9 would be 36 this remaining 25 percent are red ink pen so out of this 30 36 pence 25 percent are red ink so 25 percent are red ink pen so 36 into 1 by 4 is equal to 4 1 time 4 9 times so therefore 9 pence would be of red pens so then so there were total 36 pens so 36 minus 9 would be equal to 27 are remaining so blue 9 red 9 then the remaining 27 would be so and remaining are black pens so the remaining 27 would be black pens so this 27 would be black pens so the last information here is find total number of blue and black ink pen sold on thursday so we need to find out blue and black pens which are sold on thursday so it is 27 plus 9 so 27 plus 9 would be equal to 36 that is nothing but option b should be our answer in this case so let's check out the question here the next question here is out of the total pens sold on tuesday ratio between defective pens sold to the total pen sold so see here friends defective pens sold to the total pen sold is 7 is to 15 so defective pens is to total pens sold is equal to 7 is to 15 it means total would be 15 defective would be 7 the next information is find total number of non defective pens sold on tuesday by retailer so see here friends if defective are 7 and total are 15 then the non defective would be 15 minus 7 that is 8 i hope you understood so if total number of pens are 15 and defective are defective are 8 then the whatever the difference comes out the same difference sorry this is 7 friends 7 the whatever the difference comes out that difference should be non defective so this difference should be non defective pens so this 8 ratio is non defective pens so we need to find out these non defective pens so on tuesday there were 
total of 75 pence were sold. So 75 pence were sold on Tuesday. So 75% out of those 75%. So 8 by 15 has to be the non-defective ratio. So therefore 51 times 15 5 times. So 5 into 8 is equal to 40 pence per non-defective. That is nothing but option E should be our answer. I hope you understood. So friends, these are the important and simple questions which were asked in SBI PO preliminary examination. Try to practice more amount of questions of this kind so that you can do it very easily in the actual examination. This is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead. Before ending up this session, I request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video with your friends and if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.